So the first example I want to go over today is this one here. So we are given results of a sieve analysis. So the results of sieve analysis consists of the sieve number you use, which you know the opening from that table I just showed. And then you know the mass of soil retained on each sieve. So that's the data you get from a sieve analysis. And we're going to first perform necessary calculation to plot the PSD curve. And then we're going to determine these D values, D10, D60, uh, D30, and D60, and calculate these two coefficients. So that's what, what we're going to do with this example. So first, so given the sieve analysis results, as I mentioned, you have the sieve number you used, you measure the mass retained on each sieve, and then for each sieve number, you know the corresponding opening. So basically you know that particle size. So that's what's given. And then these last three columns here are your calculations. So the first one, so this calculation here, to get this percentile mass retained above each sieve we call Rn, first you need to calculate, or you, this is something you know, that's the total mass of your soil sample. And for this example, if you sum out the mass, and this is 450. So that's the total mass of your soil sample, 450. Again, you can sum all the rows in this uh, mass retained column here. And once you have this Mn, this Rn value, is the mass retained on each sieve divided by the total mass. So that's a percentile mass retained above each sieve. That's what we call Rn. And then this next column here, cumulative percent retained. So basically it's a cumulative number. Uh, if I pick, so let me give one example here. Let's say this 38.6, so this, uh, number here, this community percent is calculated basically by summing all these Rn values above it. So this one is basically zero plus 4.8 plus 11.0 plus 22.8. So that's how you calculate the cumulative percent retain. So basically you sum all the percentage above that sieve. And I used this 38.6 just as an example. So that's this uh, sum Rn column. And then the last column is 100 minus retained. So that's basically the percent final or percent passing. So this is the same thing. So that's that 100 minus sum of Rn column. So that's the last column. And then we're going to plot particle size distribution curve. And the data we're going to use are, so this will be your x axis log scale. So that's the particle size, which basically is your sieve opening. And then this will be your y axis. So this is the y-axis, just in linear scale. So this is an example, this is the plot for example one. Again, as I mentioned, this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. So I just took that two columns I highlighted in the previous table and put them here. And then you plot your particle size distribution curve in Excel. So this is a uh, example, uh, this is a uh, graph I generated using Excel. So this is your particle size distribution curve, green size millimeter in log scale and percent final. And then this is part A. And then for B, C, and D, and for part B, so we're going to extract these three D values, D10, D30, and D60. And for D10, so by definition, this is the particle size corresponding to 10% finer. To get the 10 value, 
we're going to start from the y-axis. So that's the 10% final mark. You draw a horizontal line and then get the corresponding x-axis value. And this by definition is our d10. So that's d10. And if you read this from graph, so this d10. Point zero nine millimeter, and then D thirty. For D thirty, we start from that thirty percent final mark on the y axis, and then find the corresponding x value. So that, by definition, is D thirty. And you can read this directly from this graph. It's D thirty here. Just pay attention to the x-axis. It's from so larger particles on the left-hand side and smaller on the right-hand side. So just be careful when you read values from the x-axis. So this is about 0.19. So that's the D30 value. And then D60, we start from the 60% mark and then find the corresponding X value that by definition is 60. So D60 is 0.41 millimeter. Okay. So that's D values. You can read directly from this graph. And then the other two coefficients, CU and CC, we just use basic definitions. So this is part B. So CU by definition, D60 over D10. This coefficient of uniformity, so that's 0 0.61, 0 0.09, 4 4.56, and then that CC value, coefficient of degradation. D30 square over D60 over D10, D60 times D10. So 0 0.19. 0 0.19 square over 0 0.41 times 0 0.09. So this is 0.98. So that's the uh, CU and the CC values.